Hi guys and welcome to Chef's Next Door. Hi everyone! Today we're going to do a fairy tale pine cones dessert, which is really simple and it's really on topic this froze today's. It's easy because it doesn't need to be baked. So first of all, we need to grind the cookies with blender. Oh, thank God, because I was starting to think that we are going to make real ones. Actually, the real ones are really healthy. It's a real trend in Ukraine to use the real ones especially in the western region, in Carpathians. We cook some jams with pine cones. This is very unique because the consistency of it is really liquid, like mm -hmm. maple syrup. But the taste is very pleasant with its sourness and real pine needles. Well, actually, I was talking about cooking real biscuits, not pines. But the lecture of yours was enlightening. Welcome. OMG, I know who's the real Scranton Strangler is. Well, I think our biscuits are ready. Great, now it's time to add the cream cheese. I'll bring it from the fridge. Uh -huh. And also, if you guys don't have a blender, you can use a huge bowl and a potato masher and to grind these biscuits into the crumbs. Or with your bad luck, you can just accidentally sit on them. Watch this. Worst, you can use a zip bag and a hammer. Okay. Not zip for bag. you. For you, it's too dangerous. But he's a strangler. Stranglers don't kill with hammers. By the way, did you know, Natalie, that when sugar first arrived in England in the 12th century, it was primarily used as medicine and was presented as beneficial to human health? Really? Like, what it was supposed to cure? Well, actually, everything from digestion improvement to body preserving, because it was believed if sugar can preserve fruits, it can also protect people. <laughs> Fake news at its best. Exactly. And it's only now that we understand that sugar only suppresses the release of stress hormone cortisol, but the effect don't last long. I think it's definitely the dentist who spread this disinformation. Well, actually, good to mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so our mixture is ready. I'm getting the gloves for us. Two for you, two for me. And zero for me. Mwe ha ha. And we are going to form like the pear form of our mixture. You know, the confectioners, they were among the highest paid people in the world. And the most virtuoso chefs, they were treated like artists, traveled the world, and they invented huge edible sugar sculptures. In 16th century, an edible sugar sculpture made by a famous chef could cost as much as an annual income of an average person. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> That's a lot. Interesting what would they say about the modern dessert green dysentery. Oh. It is served in Taiwanese restaurant, which name is Modern Toilet. Jesus. And you know, the dessert is served in the plate uh, in the form of a little toilet. So you can guess how does a dessert look like. Ew, gross. So take this and I'll take this and we are forming like a pears. Well, in the past, confectionery and sugar sculptures were considered markers of wealth and status. Only noble people could afford it. In 1590, they say the dessert was made so high that it reached the ceiling. And nowadays, desserts become more and more shocking. For example, there is this artist, American artist, um, Natalie Surfside, who makes like incredibly realistic cakes that cannot be distinguished from real people. Among her, frightening creations, the head of an American singer, Willie Nelson, also a human heart, and even she made her own wedding cake made of bloody heads of her own and her fiancé. Oh. <laughs> Till death do us apart. Exactly. That was the title of the cake. By the way, I'm testing the new dessert from a restaurant. Okay. It is an exquisite mousse de chocolat. Oh la la. Okay, would you try it and tell me your opinion? Since when you care about my opinion? I mean, once in a blue moon. Okay, bring it on. So, here is the dessert. Wow, looks fantastic. Maybe you need a spoon. Ah, thank you. Welcome. Okay, here we go. Mm. Enjoy. Mmm. 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 Mm. 
What is that? It's like I'm biting the dust. Because it's coffee grounds. Bam, you've been pranked. <laughs> your jokes are as black as your mousse chocolat. <laughs> this is just for you mm. that you don't think that life is a ball of cherries, you know? Thank you, Nelly. Thank you. It's like a new low in for you. <laughs> Welcome, Edward. You wanted my opinion? Hate it. I see what you did there. That was hilarious. And now our forms are ready. We need to cover them with these chocolate flakes. Some cereals for you and for me. Oh, you know, in my house, those don't have time to go bad. Of course, this is the only thing you know how to do. Guilty. Mischarged. So let's fasten our chocolate flakes, uh -huh. uh, like in the shape of a cone, from oh. the top to the bottom, okay? Okay, I see. By the way, did you know that corn flakes like popsicle, like Kiev cake, appeared by pure accident. It dates back to 19th century when owners of a sanatorium were making something out of a corn flour, but they had to leave on urgent business. And when they returned, they found out that corn flour gone bad, but they were in a tight budget. So they decided wow. to make a dough out of this corn flour anyway, but the dough curdled and turned into flakes. So they fry them and it appeared that some flakes were airy and crispy texture. So they offered those flakes to doctor's patients as medicine and they became very popular. Wow. Oh, impressive. I see you're a big fan. Well, it's just their brand received a patent and now it's still the leader of uh, cornflakes production in America. Watch this. So, our beautiful cones are almost ready. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they look like real ones. Yeah, <laughs> look fantastic. So, also, we need the ice and sugar to put on them, like, you know, to have a little frost. So, we can do that. What, what the hell are you doing, Edward? Uh, eating frost? <sighs> this ice and sugar is supposed to be sifted. Oh. So the layer will be a really, really beautiful and without any pulps. Okay. Like this. Oh my goodness, it's so Jeez. pretty. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Sugar makes wonders. Even more, I heard if you eat cucumber dipped in sugar, it tastes like a watermelon. Wanna try it? Surely, I love watermelon. And luckily I have one cucumber in the fridge, so go oh. get it. <laughs> Now, watermelon is as sweet as my sweet revenge. Okay, here is sugar. Uh, okay. And here is cucumber. I need a knife. Here is a knife. So, are you ready to taste sweetness of the watermelon? One for you. One for me. Okay. One for you. Yes, here we go. <laughs> Hard pass. So, you ready? Yep. Help yourself. So, I'll take the cucumber, dip it yeah. in the sugar, right? Yeah, just dip it real good. Dip it real good. Okay, I'll Don't dip it shy. real good. And now, taste the watermelon. And what do you think? I mean, it tastes <laughs> like a cucumber with sugar. <laughs> And this crush, <laughs> crush on my cheese. Mm. Bam! We settled the score, yeah! Oh, we're even, high five! No, no, come I, on, high five, anyone? No? I hate you. Ah, oh, come on. And if you haven't noticed, our beautiful pine cones are ready, and we are ready to presentation. Bring it on! Oh my god, I still can't believe they turned out that beautiful. I'm shocked. You'll be even more shocked when you taste them. I just can't wait. Can't wait. Bye guys and see you next week. See ya!